There aren't many people that I would risk $150 for. But Courtney, Dan, and Amy, anything I do, I'd do it for you. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. Today's video is a fun little thread up collaboration that I'm doing with Dan and Amy, who are the hustle couple, and Courtney, who is Common Tags. So I will link their channels down below. We all ordered the 15 handbag rescue box from Thread Up, not name brand, not coach, not designer, just the 15 random handbags. $150 is what this cost. It's a huge risk, but with little risk comes little reward. <laughs> is that the quote? Is that What's the quote? No risk, no reward. I don't know. Um, we just thought it'd be fun to grab one of these boxes and take a chance. So hopefully it's not terrible, but my expectations are way down here, especially with handbags. I don't even like handbags. Why am I doing this? <laughs> So, without further ado, let's get into this Thread Up Rescue. 15 handbags, 150 bucks. That's $10 a piece. Urgh. Right? 15 times 10. Yep, it's $10 a piece. <laughs> I already opened the box. The tissue's on top. I'll take that out. I ordered this on October 26th. It came on October 31st. Hopefully that light is not too bright. If it is, I'm sorry. Oh, blah. it does not look pretty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought this was Gucci, but it's not. It's Guess. First bag is this Guess monogram. Monogram. What is a monogram? Monogram handbag. It's in okay condition. But I'm not excited about a Guess. I guess handbag. That's the little print. It's neutral, tan, cream. Oh gosh. Oh, oh okay. Next. I have no idea what that says. Uh, let me see. Jolie. This is the tag. Jolie. Um, it's this tangerine. Peach crossbody bag. No, I, this is not. Pretty sure it's not real leather. It's in it's in decent condition. I might be able to get my money back on that one, like fifteen bucks, but probably I will just. Um, this up to a loss and yay it's a fun video <laughs> maybe or it's a sad sad video uh, oh this is Vera Bradley I do good with Vera Bradley some prints are better than others but this is a Vera Bradley quilted paisley bag and it looks like you can hold on yep cinch in the sides also, I've got a bit of a cold brewing, so I sound maybe a little congested, nasally. You can, yeah, it's like a little bucket, cinchable, lots of pockets. This will sell. Okay, I'll probably get 25 for that. It's a little dirty on bottom, but I mean, Beer Bradley's easy, you could just wash it. What's this? Okay, here's a backpack, it's quilted blue and it's got leather straps and it's soul and soline I don't know this label looks fun I've never heard of this brand soul and soline so maybe this is good I think these this smells like leather so real leather straps I believe quilted lots of space inside it's a nice little travel backpack neutral color I don't know. It's got a lot of quality features to it, so maybe that's good. We will see. 
Okay, this is a very dated looking mini bag. It's black with silver accents. It's Cole Haan. It's just so old fashioned. And the, ugh, the inside is filth. It says P.O. right there. Not sure. Cole Haan, little zipper mini bag. Not. I don't know, because I would not want to have to clean that up inside. I don't know. Oh, another guess. <laughs> uh, gee, by guess. Monogram again, and this is more like a denim. Oh, with a fun little giraffe or tiger looking, uh, more like giraffe print in the inside. Just like a big hobo shoulder bag. I'm not thrilled, but that's all right. That's okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I hope I hope their um, bags are better than this. I'll leave their videos linked in the description. And if not for anything, maybe we could just convince you not to get the handbag box off of ThreadUp. This is Antonio Milani. So, what's up with all the navy blue and quilted? It's like quilted, but like croc embossed at the same time, or reptile embossed. I don't think it's real leather. That's Antonio Milani. You probably won't be able to see that, but that's it. It's just a big shoulder tote bag. Oh, with magnetic closures. Um, it's in good condition, except there's some wearing at the corner. I don't, pretty sure it's not worth anything. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this is oh, another tote. This is, oh, this is in bad shape. Watch it be something really good. It's just not in good shape. Oops, that's my phone. Sorry. Oh, jeez. I'm going to be so mad if this is something fabulous. Cleo Bella. I've never... I don't know if that's real leather or not, but that's Cleo Bella. This is not... I think it's real leather. It smells like real leather, but, like, there's a lot of wear and discoloration to this tote. It's heavy. We're stacking them up. Oh, this feels like stiff plastic. This is Nuitag Universal Thread. Uh, retails for $30. It's a crossbody, like in a cognac. Um, it's Nuitag, so that's good, but it has a big scuff mark right there on the top where it's just, it's like the material, the fake polyurethane has like worn off. Oh my gosh. I don't know, maybe I could get a couple bucks for it at the consignment store. Honestly, what I might do is just take this whole box to our family Christmas in next month. Well, in De wait, what month is this? <laughs> it's number next month and just let all the lovely ladies in my family take bags if they want them. This is a Morona. It's Target brand. Uh, this is like a houndstooth. And patent, like faux patent leather shoulder bag. It's not in good shape. Yikes. Oh, another Target bag. This is so stiff. This is a new day. And you guys, this is a bag is like so stiff. I can't even open it enough to show you the um, the brand, but it's purple. It's a crossbody. It needs reshape. 
<laughs> it needs reshaped, but I don't know if that's even possible. Oh gosh. Somebody in my family might want that. My mom might even want it. I'm not sure. Nanini. Oh, this is putrid. I mean. Nanini. I've never heard of this brand. N-A-N-N-I-N-I. -N -N -I -N -I, but you guys. This is shot. Oh, it's just disgusting. Oh, it's just gross. I love. Well, it's not a waste of money because I get a YouTube video out of it and I'm doing a collab with, with my friends whom I love dearly. So it's not a waste when you think of it when you look at the bright side. <laughs> and, you know. It's a gamble with thread up. This is C, just the brand C, which is absolutely nothing. It's a pink blush, little envelope looking crossbody. I don't know. I don't even like selling purses. But, oh, maybe, is this Patricia Nash? Nope, it's the sack. Uh, the sack does okay, but I don't think this one will because of this giant blue stain. Oh my gosh, it is beat, but I thought it was Patricia Nash because of all that embroidery I'd seen at the beginning. Yeah, this is junk. Junk. Last one. <laughs> Michael Green. I think I've heard that name before. There's my son. Uh, Michael Green. This looks like a, almost like a Dooney and Burke bag. Michael Green. Uh, is this vintage? This might be vintage. It's just like a. It's got a suede interior. It reminds me of vintage Coach or vintage Dooney. Uh, crossbody. Michael Green might be good. I don't know, but like this purse. Has lots of scr scuffs and lots of scratches and dings, so I doubt it'll be worth much. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, and they stiffed me one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I didn't even get 15. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that is it. I will leave. <laughs> that was horrific. Oh, God, that was horrible. <laughs> um, yeah, I will leave their videos. I will leave their videos linked in the comments below. Go check out their channels, subscribe to them. Uh, we don't do thread up videos that often, but this week I feel like I'm I'm going to be because I ordered a whole bunch of boxes. What was I thinking? I have no idea. Uh, but it's all in good fun. I'm not mad. It's no big deal. I hope they got better stuff than I did though. I I drew the short straw. I feel like for sure. I don't know. I haven't seen their videos yet, but I'm excited to go check them out. So, I hope you guys go check out their videos. Have you ever gotten a box like this? Have you ever gotten a handbag box? And was it this terrible? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!